Someone should be crawling. That chick up there is crawling. Yeah, I saw her. It, it's inspired me. I feel inspired to crawl. <laughs> <laughs> Behind me is links. Um, these are one, this is one of the pieces here. Um, I'm actually a designer and architect. I've been painting for a very long time, and I use a lot of textures and gold colors. Um, let's go ahead and walk through the space. <laughs> and you can see there's a lot of architecture, um, you know, behind each piece. So that's my background. I use different colors to add all the, you know, the different layers. And this one here is in the reds. And I use oils and acrylics. And these are all the bigger pieces here. And these are some other reds. pocket and just lean into that hip for me just pop that hip the other one the one that where your hand is in the pocket so switch hips yeah there you go that's perfect I'm currently a freshman in this fine arts program at UT Austin, and most of my work here is just me experimenting with different medias and learning what I'm doing with art. I've been drawing since I was maybe in kindergarten, and since then I've just tried as many different things as possible. Um, right over here I have one of the clothing I designed for hiddenclothing.com, which is my friend Cameron's clothing site. And he took this that was on a watercolor that I made and made a really graphic version of it. And we sell them and that's it. Is it what you thought it would be or less? <laughs> life without music isn't life at all. That's sort of true. I think I'm going to buy it. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. Bye. Have a nice day. <laughs> I'm going to go in here. I want to go. Okay. Let me work on the Glass. <laughs> Your mess is beautiful. What are you talking about? Oh, it's a big, gorgeous mess. <laughs> I love your dress. And who are you? Joyce. Hi, Joyce Dwight. I do fusing, glass fusion. Uh -huh. But I do the, the fused glass on the premises. Which is that? Which, which piece of art? <laughs> All of this up here really is fused glass. These pieces. They're all done in a kiln. because we have a pilgrim festival at our church on Saturday, this today. And then we have a friend who's here at the art crawl. So we're visiting her and looking at the rest of the exhibits. Okay. Nice. Life. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Tell me your name. 
Uh, Betty Jo. And Bob. And Bob. 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 Where are we going next? We're going to um, the Atomic Cafe to check out some graffiti that we are going to promote. Like this is my, not building, but yeah. Your building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you let them do this to your building? Yes, I do. I encourage it. Yeah, can you tell me your name first? Wayne. Wayne Wilden. And so you allow them to do this to your building? Why? Why? Because I encourage, encourage youth and art. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sylvia Angeli. I've been in this space, Studio 7 at the docks for 15 years, and I'm an oil painter. This is my work. I do abstractions of fruit. I think uh, it's very sensuous and symbolic of uh, people. I try to make them more personable than just still lives or just fruit. I, I like to incorporate a human aspect. This is an exploration of abstractions of the last pear tree that I had planted in my front yard, which blew away in the hurricane. So this was the last still life I did of my pears, which I'm known for in the city. Is I started being known as the pear lady many years ago. It's not as easy as it looks, believe me, to do large fluid abstracts with water. It's very difficult, but I think I accomplished it successfully. What's that? What's that for? I'm not charging people anything here. Right. You know, so. Uh, I, uh, let me know where it's posted. Or some blog. How are you doing? Good. Good. How are you? Good. Back for more, huh? Let me know if y'all have any questions. This one's going to be in the Chronicle on Thursday for Thanksgiving, I think. So, and then if my gallery lets me, I'm going to auction it off and uh, online and uh, give some of the proceeds to charity. Not all of them, some of them. Yeah. But yeah, well, you know when you're a kid and you trace your hand, you turn into a turkey. Mm -hmm. So my buddy brought his kid over here and he traced her hand. Six month old daughter. Thanksgiving's got like, you know, brown and orange and yellow. Yeah, I think it'd be good though. Was it for the food, the can drive or the... No, they, they just called me and they asked me to create some turkey art. And I kind of, and I think they asked the mayor, I don't know if he agreed to do one, do that too, but Chloe Dow from that project, uh, uh, that fashion show. Runway. Project Runway and some other local big shots or whatever. And so I kind of took the project and ran with it and turned it into a painting. I'm done. You're recording still. I am? No, I'm not. Am I? Probably. No.